What is up and welcome back and today we have a quick detailed look at the James Harden Volume 8. Let me start off by saying that for Adidas the sizing many times is going to be a little bit tricky. The best thing you can do with Adidas sneakers is try them on in store to really dial in how the shoe is going to feel. Now with this one right here I'm going to recommend that everybody goes a half size down if you're looking for that performance snug fit. Okay, so I did order a size 8 and that was actually the wrong size for me. I should have gone with a 7.5 because I do have a little bit of heel slippage. I can feel it moving up and down when I'm moving around in the sneaker, when I'm doing the basketball moves. Not so much when I'm just walking around. When I'm actually trying to jump and move, I do feel that in the back. Also, within the sneaker, I can feel my feet just moving a little bit like that, left and right. And I'm going to say if you are going to pay big money for a sneaker, especially for basketball, you want it to fit real good, especially when it's expensive. Now this one with taxes is going to be around 170 USD. So that's a lot of money for a top end performance sneaker. So definitely get the sizing down correctly. Now these right here, I am going to say they do kind of give off that crazy one vibes from Kobe's Adidas debut. You guys remember that? Futuristic looking. Kind of look like a space boot a little bit. And these right here kind of give me those vibes. And I'm going to say you're either going to like that look or not. And also when you wear this one on feet, they do stand out a whole lot. It does really look a little bit bulky. So you know what kind of hoop shoes you like. If you like them to be slick and not so big, this one right here it is going to look that way, but it's not really going to feel real bulky when you're wearing it. It's going to feel somewhat in between, and that's in my opinion. Now, also, one thing I do want to mention is that, as you can tell, this sneaker does not flex a whole lot. So let me really put it to the test so you can see. And some players don't like that. Some players really like a lot of four foot flex where it bends real easy in the front. Now, for me, I don't mind that, especially when you play with it a lot longer. It is going to flex a lot more easier, but you're definitely going to have to break it in when you first get it. And like I said, either you like it or you don't. So have that in mind. And one thing I did want to point out is just like the Kobe ones or the crazy ones, when you first get it, it looks real clean and slick, right? You can see all the contour in it. But when you start playing in it more, you're going to get a lot more creases. It's not going to look as clean. So you know if you're going to like that further down the road. And I'm just letting you know ahead of time so you can decide if it's going to work for you. Now, also, as you can tell, the materials do look somewhat thick. Just look at that. You do have... A booty construction within the shell right you got the shell this right here and then you have this material inside the sneaker so it's definitely going to get warm or hot in this one so have that in mind again you know what you like on the court you like more air there's not going to be it flowing through the sneaker and one detail I don't want to forget to mention again I'm going to say these kind of feel like the Trade 2 or the Trade 3, but a lot more better. And those with the 2s, they might have been too tight, the Trade 2s for people. And then the 3s maybe a little bit loose for other people's preference. These are going to be something in between. They fit real nicely, easy to get into, but you feel that it does hug you very well along the ankle. So that's what you can expect from the Volume 8. And again, very good heel support, nicely built in the back. Also, you are going to have a full bed of Jet Boost. That's going to be like a boost somewhat, but it's going to be more firm and more springy. So that's what you can expect with this one. That's going to be the feel of it. When you do wear it, you have good ground feel, but you do feel that you have that pop, that springiness, to it when you're doing your moves. I did try it out a little bit at home, nothing too crazy, but I can definitely feel it off the bat. 
immediately. And like I said, once I get the 7.5 in, I am going to do a very thorough performance review for everybody. But this is going to be the quick detail look. And there you have it. And with those small details, you can decide if you are going to pick this one up. The traction also looks very solid, multi-directional. And these were the James Harden Volume 8 160 USD. Uh -huh.